You don't get into this business, I think, because you're wanting fame and fortune. You just are wanting to understand how life works and the, that joy of discovery um, that drives us. We study a bacterium called Bacillus that's used as a model system in biology. What we want to understand is how a cell becomes organized and then um, what the functional implications of that organization are for the biology of the organism and then how that organism makes decisions. If you're entering into a, a PhD program, it's ultimately a degree in philosophy and you're coming in probably wanting to be a leader because that's the type of position that you're training for, that you're going to be overseeing other people or projects or managing things on your own. Maybe you have your own business. They go different ways. And so in order to get the practice and experience with leading something, you need to have the opportunity to come up with your own ideas and then ultimately test them. I see my job as mentor to mainly stay out of the way of the students, but to enable them to go tackle research problems on their own. So we tend to frame questions and then give people a little bit of hands-on training so you're not dumped on your head, but ultimately people learn by making mistakes. So um, I actually encourage that, you know, sometimes I hear them doing things it's not the way I would do it, but that's how you learn. We talk a lot about scientific values, so things like not just honesty, but the things that actually make science function. So for example, rigor, transparency, being open with data, being open to criticism, being extremely skeptical. So I, we have a joke in the lab, with, you question everything, trust nothing. <laughs> and it's kind of a joke, but it's also true. I think at the end of the day, you depend on the premises and the data that's out there in the literature. And so you really need to feel that you understand it fully. The best part of my job is probably the one-on-one -on -one or in-group lab meetings with the graduate students where we're talking about models and ideas. I personally like to think about really tough um, problems that you know have been around in the literature for forever um, and those, the idea that it can maybe tackle that problem. I really like that feeling that that gives me. At the end of the day, I really learn from the students that have gone through the lab. So every, we've had an incredible diversity of different kinds of thinkers and creative people. And I get to learn from the approaches that other people take that, you know, I wouldn't have done on my own.